Hey guys, what's up? Cowball13 back again. Just making a quick video here. I talked a little bit in my last video about making a, uh, a best class setup for the fad. I was talking about how it's kind of, I think it's underrated and a lot of people don't use it for some reason, but uh, they, they, the damage on it, it looks low. Like when you actually go into the gun here and you look at the damage, I mean, it looks a lot lower when you compare it to some of the other assault rifles. And I think that's why. And I think they might think it's a little bit hard to control, I guess. But uh, I think differently. I think the FAD's a great gun. It's uh, actually my favorite assault rifle at the moment. And you can see here, here's my best class setup for, uh, I'll show you two of the two of the classes I use the most. Here's the first one. I got the FAD on, um, muzzle brake for a little bit longer ranges there, and then the foregrip. Sometimes I put the silencer on instead of the muzzle brake. It doesn't really make too much of a difference to me, but... Uh, I'll do that. Then, obviously, no secondary, no lethal, no tactical. I think that's kind of a usual for a lot of people when they're playing this game. It just doesn't seem to be, unless you're playing like an objective, maybe, it just seems that your gun can be the better usage to kill people. Um, perks wise, I got sleight of hand, stalker, quick draw, resilience, and focus. Focus is on every single one of my classes. Um, just because, I mean, it's super important if you're in a gunfight and if it's long range or whatever it is I mean you're not going to move very much at all and you can win most of those gunfights just because of focus is on resilience this class is more of a fast paced class for me so I kind of jump around a lot and so using resilience will definitely help me you can always switch that out I have quick draw and stock around because it is an assault rifle it's a little bit slower pulling up to your eyes obviously so it's really nice to be able to win those when you're coming up against a submachine gun battle or something and then stalker i'm definitely a tweak and duke sort of guy so if i'm if i'm in a gunfight i'll move back and forth and make them move just kind of an elusive mood of the, and then sleight of hands obviously just useful with any gun but the fat has the slow one of the slowest reload times for the assault rifles so uh sleight of hands is very important to me and then as far as strike package goes i use uh specialist on this class I, have, I roll with uh, Scavenger is my first perk that I unlock at 3, and then off the grid, and then blind eye. I mean, this is just me, obviously, but here's how, here's how I think of it. Is after 3 kills, I might be close to running out of ammo, depending on what I'm playing and how I'm playing. So I got Scavenger on, and then I basically will have unlimited ammo. You could always switch Scavenger out for... Uh, for fully loaded if you wanted to or something like that you know so you automatically have all that ammo it's not a bad idea and then off the grid just so because I don't have a silence weapon it's nice to not be able to be seen with everybody using sat comms and then I have blind eye which is just good because oracle systems are annoying and you don't want to be able to be seen by that stuff so my next class with the fad is this one it's I uh, got a red down on I actually really like the iron sights on the fad I think they're fairly clear and my favorite gun of all time in COD was the AUG, so it's nice. It, it kind of has the same feel to it, that's why I like the FAD so much. But the iron sights aren't too bad, it's just kind of a little needle, fairly, fairly accurate once you get used to the recoil pattern. And then I got the silencer on as well, just because I am... This is a slower paced class for me, as you can tell, I don't have sleight of hand on. So that, uh, that'll slow me down a little bit, because I'm a fast paced player. But uh, then I go with Stalker, got Blind Eye, Focus again, Fully Loaded, like I talked about with the other class, Fully Loader, Scavenger, but I start off with Fully Loaded here just because I don't want to run around as much necessarily. If I want to chill in an area, I kind of can patrol that area. And then I have Hardline on. It's kind of, I, I don't normally use Hardline, but I, I use it every once in a while just for fun to get those higher streaks. And uh, I already talked about Stalker in the other class, and Focus, obviously, again, one of the most important perks I can see in this game. Strike package, I'm going with Assault on this one. I have the Attack Dog, or the Guard Dog. Uh, I'm biased to this because I have a German Shepherd, so he's pretty badass. <laughs> and that's why I just think it's a really good, it's a good, um, it's a good uh, streak to use, sorry. Because he tells you when people are coming, he kills people for you. I don't know how many times he's killed somebody where I haven't seen him. Uh, then the Hind, just another really good one. You don't have to control it, it just chills up there and bombs people away and then the helo pilot again is just a fun one to use if you can get to it but i get to it every once in a while it's pretty fun to use so those are my two fad classes that i enjoy the most if you guys have any comments or anything interesting that you want me to look at with guns and see if i can find 
a good setup for them, just let me know. But I'll just keep making these about different guns that I think are great. So thanks for listening, guys, and we'll see you later. Make sure to hit that like button. Peace.